Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! Or I should say, welcome to Chakhan Hyonaui Tarakbang, a small doll cafe found in Yongin City. Have you ever heard of a doll cafe? I hadn't, but believe it or not, there's a number of these all over Korea. I mean, it's still a niche specialty sort of thing, but I was surprised to find that, after I moved house and did a search, that there are no less than three just within driving distance from my home. I can't believe I've never gone to one before now, so I thought I'd check it out and bring you with me. Right off the bat, I'm thinking, heck yeah, this is my kind of place! It's so pink! <clears throat> There's a small selection of coffee and beverages one can order, but the main event is the doll stuff, of course. I assume the coffee and tables are here for spouses and dads to wait patiently while people like me get really excited and spend an hour or so checking out the products and shopping. Lined up on the right wall as you enter is a variety of miniature sets. The staff encourages you to pose your dolls and take pictures here. I should have brought my mini-me, I don't know why I didn't. But I'm definitely keeping this cafe in mind for future photo shoots. It's like going to a photo studio for dolls. There are tons of figurines and cute blind box style toys on display scattered around the cafe. Although most of these are for decoration, not for sale, I asked. No, the main event at this cafe are ball jointed dolls and clothing and accessories for ball jointed dolls. If you've seen my other content, you'll know I'm more of a fashion doll person myself, but I have occasionally stepped foot in the vast expensive land of resin dolls. It's a very different world to me. Whereas fashion dolls are generally considered children's toys, ball jointed dolls, or BJDs for short, are considered high quality artwork, sculpted and produced in resin with inset eyes and hand painted faces. For this reason, they tend to be expensive. But we'll look at the dolls in a moment. First off, look at all these darling little clothes! They've got all kinds of cute outfits, including these adorable pastel-colored hanboks. Can I get this in my size, please? There's also shoes and socks and more clothes in different sizes all along this aisle. I wonder if any of these would fit Monster High. Probably not. They're so darn cute, though. There's wigs, too, in a pretty great variety of colors and lengths. They've also got the eyeballs for sale. Even in a professional store setting, you can't escape the inherently creepy factor of doll customizing. <laughs> They've also got a selection of tools, from silicon wig caps to elastic for stringing the doll together. I'll admit, I don't know what all of this stuff is for. <laughs> Having arrived at the back wall, it's time to take a look at the dolls at last! The BJD enthusiasts among you likely know better than me the brands of these dolls and whatnot. But from what I can tell, they look top notch. I've definitely seen these little dragon babies floating around on Instagram.
BJDs tend to have a more soft, ethereal beauty baby doll aesthetic, or at least this shop's dolls do. I don't want to generalize. I'm usually an edgy teen doll sort of person, you know, your brats, your monster highs, but today I actually am in the market for one of these dolls. I'm looking for a young boy model, in fact, and I think I found him. I poured over each doll for quite a while and decided I liked this fellow's face the best. I've got plans for this special doll. I'd like to customize him and create a Year of the Tiger themed boy dressed in full hanbok attire. I have a sketch for now, although I don't know when I'll actually be able to get to this project. For the time being, I purchased not only the doll, but a wig in dark brown, and a set of comfy looking pajamas that I simply couldn't resist. Looks like the wig fresh out of the box is kind of a dorky bowl cut. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to style it like the blonde one the display doll was wearing. I like the way that looked. The store owner was very nice and gave me a couple freebies as well. 감사합니다! So, all in all, what do you think of these things called doll cafes? I think they're pretty rad, but of course I'm biased. Do you have any where you live? Would you be interested in exploring other doll cafes with me? Because I'd be up for checking them out. Although I don't think I'll buy a doll every time I go. <laughs> Let me know in the comments! If you do happen to be in South Korea, I'll leave a link and some more instructions on how you can find this specific doll cafe in the description box below. Thank you to Chakhan Hyonawi Tarakbang for letting me film your super unique store. And thank you so much for watching! Stay artsy! Annyeong!